Hello everyone and welcome to another Wayfarers East Heroclix tutorial. For our last video we checked out the merge ability and for this video we're going to be looking at the move and attack ability. Uh, move and attack can usually be seen if you look at the uh, character. He's got the movement foot there surrounded by the circle meaning he's transporter. Also the flyer transporter and the swimmer transporter can all use the same ability. Move attack is defined as this character can use hypersonic speed if it is not adjacent to an opposing character when giving the power action, but its attack value is modified by minus two. So you can use hypersonic speed as long as you're not adjacent to somebody and your attack value is minus by two. Um, I'll quick run through hypersonic speed here. Uh, give this character a power action, move it up to its speed value. It adds 2 to its d6 roll when breaking away and may move through squares adjacent to opposing characters but still needs to break away normally. During this move, the character may, as a free action, make one close combat or ranged combat attack with its range value halved for the attack. This character must be in a square where it could legally end its move in order to make the attack. So, okay, what this means is when he can use hypersonic speed like he can, he can move up to his movement value, so he can move a total of 10 squares, so say he wants to move one square, and then he'd be able to make a range or close combat attack. Um, in this case, it'd be a range attack on Doctor Strange. He would have his range attack, or range value, so it'd be 4.5 rounded up, he would have a 5 range for the attack, he wouldn't be able to fire the full 9, and then he would attack, so it's an 11, and then Doctor Strange has a 17, so you would roll and you would hope for a 6, we got a 9, and then you would deal damage. Since Gandalf only moved one square to make that attack, he can move an additional nine squares to end his movement. So he can move, you know, all the way off into the Goonies if he wanted to. But, so he'll stay there. Um, also, if he wanted to make an attack, he has to be from a spot where he could legally end the attack. So, for example, if Gandalf has the ability to move over red, if we look up here, where Worldbreaker and Alfred Pennyworth are fighting, um, along with Iron Man, if he wanted, if he had the ability to move over red like he can right there, and he wanted to make the attack there against Doctor Strange, he wouldn't be able to, because that is not a legal spot where he can end his movement. He would have to either make it right here, or right here. Because it is possible to lose the hypersonic speed ability during your turn. That's basically it for the movement and movement attack. Oh, also, I almost forgot, make sure you minus your attack value by two when you make the attack. So he's got an 11, it would become a nine, uh, which is kind of a downer, but it happens. So he would have a nine attack for the attack. Um, and then also he cannot be adjacent to um, an opposing character when it starts. Uh, normally with hypersonic speed, if you were there, you would just simply roll for breakaway, so you'd need anything but a 1. Um, I got a 3, so he'd be able to hypersonic out. But with move and attack, you cannot do move and attack if you are adjacent to a character already. That's basically it. I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, Wayfarers East. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter and WayfarersEast.com. And without further ado, I hope you have a great day.